Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena for today's video. I'm bringing out the Ohuhu markers, the 120 set. Now that I've already done an unboxing and a review of these, so if you would like to check those out, I will have links in the description below. Go ahead and check those out. You check them out? Excellent. Anyways, if I can find the zipper on this thing, I would like to revisit these magnificent and beautiful markers because I have used a lot of the brights, as many of these bright, cheerful colors as I could. However, the grays were somewhat neglected. So, I would like to use more of the neutral tones to create a piece. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Alrighty, so, got your line art here, which my model today is this fabulous, gnarly werewolf. Eh, this was originally intended to be a project for around October 2019. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can see how well that went, but I love this design, so it'll be nice to revisit it, and it'll be nice to, to finally finally get it colored in. I mean, it's about time. And of course, I've got my scratch paper here for testing out color blends. And if you've watched any of my marker videos before, you'll know that I always vigorously test out various blends and colors uh, before anything touches the actual piece. So I'm going to figure out my color palette, and then we're going to color in this bad boy and showcase Eh, so it can sometimes be considered the less appreciated colors, the boring colors, but we're going to make it not boring. I guarantee it. All right, so I found some colors that I rather like to start. In general, I love using purples and blues as shading for gray, so that mauve shadow, and I believe it was called, ah, pigeon blue, which is kind of a really, really light blue gray. I thought that those looked great. So, Let's do this. Okay, I really enjoyed using these tones of gray. Seriously, the set comes with some amazing neutrals. Now then, judging by the fact that my first drawing with these markers was all the bright, super colorful rainbow, it could be easy for the neutrals to get overshadowed, which is why I just tried to stick more with the, the neutrals. Yes, I know I'm saying neutrals a lot. Please bear with me. <laughs> but don't underestimate the power of a good neutral palette. Grays in this set have a lot of underlying tones. Purples, blues, greens, even hints of red and yellow in some cases. Use these underlying tones to your advantage. I try to utilize sections, if that makes any sense. The main body, 
utilized lots of blue tones. The lighter section used light mauve or mauve shadow to be precise. In other words, kind of a purple pink. I absolutely love light purple for shading light tones of gray. As for the darkest parts, I used more of the solid gray grays and some gray greens. Honestly, I know I've gushed over Ohuhu brush markers before, many, many times in fact, but there's a reason for that. These brush markers are freaking amazing! The 120 set is just astounding, worth every penny. The colors are vibrant, the blending is an absolute dream, and the price is very reasonable. When you think about it, $100 for the set, and then 120 markers, that's under a dollar per marker. I mean, you go to any craft store, and if they've got open stock alcohol-based brush markers, depending on the brand, you're usually looking at anywhere from three to four dollars per to six to eight dollars per. Now then, this is using US dollars, US currency, since I don't know what country you all are from, the prices might be different, but this is just to give you an example. One dollar, not even a dollar, per marker. What's not to love? I'll have some links to some of my other Ohuhu brush marker content in the description below. Okay, so that moon, that was a tricky thing to approach. I'm no stranger to painting moons digitally, granted I haven't done that in a while, but I don't think I've tried drawing a moon with traditional media before. Until now? It was a risk, especially since Wolfie Beefcake came out looking so handsome. But, in the end, the moon itself came out amazing. However, I was apprehensive about the glow effect. While it turned out okay, I think it needs more work. Here I go, self-critiquing. Not bad for a first attempt. Remember, don't be afraid to try out new things or step out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you just, you, you don't know until you try. You really don't. Overall, these brush markers are amazing. The 120 set is worth the investment. Have you used these markers before? Post below. As always, I love hearing what you guys have to say. Alright, here we are. All done. I have to say that, once again, trying out something new. I've done moons digitally. I think this is my first time really attempting to draw one with a different medium. And I have to say that, overall, I kind of like how it turned out. I, I mean... I think I might still need work, but this is definitely something that I, I can utilize in the future. I, I, I really like it. These markers, the Ohuhu brush markers, honestly, I adore these things to bits. Cannot say enough nice things about them. Worth every penny. I highly recommend these. These are... Mm, 
absolutely amazing. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right now, every single like, share, subscribe, and comment helps me out. It helps the channel grow. And it makes me very, very happy, so let's keep it up. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!